So I just want to have a sit down with all of you tonight and just discuss a few topics. A lot of stuff that's current events that are going on. A lot of stuff from the scriptures. So let's see where this goes. First of all, I love you all. I really do. All you people that subscribe to my channel and I can tell you're so genuine and you're spirit filled and you're led by the Holy Spirit. No matter what disagreements in small doctrines, you know, or teachings we may have, the main thing is we belong to Christ. And so don't lose sight of that, okay? Don't don't fall out over something that's not essential to our salvation or not dis disrespectful to our God. All right. I do present some teachings that are that are you know unorthodox, but as far as I understand and I'm com completely convinced they're scriptural. So they come from our creator in the Holy Scriptures. So, be patient with me. I don't always get to every video that I want to when I want to. I have a lot of distractions in my own life. You know, I've got life going on in my life and family and friends and all kinds of crap coming up, you know, in the social media and the public that yeah, I do get distracted sometimes, but anyway, I'm here for you. I'm going to do what I can to help you spiritually, and maybe you can help me. And I read all your emails, folks. I appreciate all your encouragements, your, you know, your love letters in Christ, you know, and it means a lot to me. It really does. You know, people that I don't even know from all over the country and all over the world that send, you know, their their love and their prayers. And it's, it's very touching. So I need to say that. Now, going forward, current events. As far as the economy goes, the United States economy. We're done, done, with a capital D, D-O-N-E, done. And this is all by design. It's all, it's all uh, planned out, and, uh, you know, the economy's going to collapse. I don't know how fast it's going to happen, but it may happen really rapidly, especially if they use some kind of uh, catastrophic event or two or three or more to hasten the demise of the U.S. dollar. And I've talked about the dollar as the world's reserve currency before, but it's done, okay? And they're going to pull the rug out of everybody's feet. And 99% of the people in the United States and Western Europe European nations are going to be caught off guard because most of them have no clue what's going on to begin with. But you do, because Yahweh, our God, has blessed you and given you spiritual insight. So that's a lot to be thankful for. So none of this, none of this should take you by surprise. It's coming. And it could happen overnight, and then we could be plunged into darkness, you know, with a electromagnetic grid pulse or power grids down and a combination of that and supposed terrorist attacks and all that stuff. You know, we, we've seen this coming for a while. And those of you that have been following me for a couple of years, you know, you, you've seen my other videos, which are now deleted. But I'm taking a chance on this, and I'm trying to be careful because I don't want uh, the videos on this newer version of my channel to be deleted. But anyway, 
where's all this going? So we have China and Russia beating the war drums and the United States is provoking Russia and provoking China. You know, this is all a charade. It's, it's complete bullshit. All right. All these people are in cahoots to bring about their new world order. As announced by the United Nations, their agendas, and the World Health Organization, and all these uh, satanic elites that are planning our demise. Now, it's coming. You know that. So what I suggest, first of all, Number one is your spirituality. You know, be, be close to Yahweh. Be close to our Messiah, Christ. And, and pray. And if you fast, I encourage you to do that also. You know, uh, fasting is biblical when people really suffer or they're about to suffer. They fast, they deprive their bodies because it's proven spiritually that you get more understanding and spiritual connections with our creator if you do that. So I encourage that. But also physical preparations. You know, common sense tells you you're going to need water and food. You're going to need supplies. So do what you can enough said you know I don't need to go in in depth with that there's plenty of channels that do that but also you need to prepare for physical self-defense also whatever you know Yahweh leads you to do and and evil people just flat out evil people they want to come and do you harm like all the mobs you've seen in the past few years, you know, beating up and killing people just randomly. Defending yourself from somebody like that is not against the scriptures. It's biblical. All right. Now, if some somebody comes to you like Christ said and slaps you on your cheek and, you know, says ugly things to you and defames you for the sake of Christ, that's different. But just random evil people that come to do you and your family harm, if you don't defend yourself, you're worse than the infidel. And that's what the scripture says. If you don't take care of your own household. You know, and that involves self-protection also. Now, we got this situation coming up with China and Russia, all right? And a bunch of other nations are joining in. They call it BRICS, and that's, that's involving, it's been going on for over a decade, with uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South America and a slew of other countries are joining their cohort right now, their group. And they're moving away from the U.S. dollar. They're making their own currency and trading in other currencies besides the U.S. dollar, which is going to completely decimate the United States, which, which they have planned. They're going to pull the plug on the United States in more ways than one. You're going to see atrocities, catastrophic calamities, and violence in the United States and other Western European nations that have never been seen before. And who knows how long it's going to go on. Plus, you, on that note, you've also got pharmaceuticals and stuff that's going to kill people, and it has been. But what I'm talking about is the beginning of birth pangs. And Christ talked about, he talked about wars, famines, earthquakes, and pestilence. And he said, these are the beginning of birth pangs. 
like when a woman goes in labor, the beginning of it, okay? Buddy, no, no, no. I'm sorry. So the beginning of the birth pangs is the start of the tribulation. But Christ said the end is not yet. Nation will rise against nation and so forth. And then you have the seals. You've got the first, second, and third seals, which involve slaughter of human beings on a massive scale and famine. And then you've got in the fourth seal, you've also got death and destruction from supernatural uh, entities. And that's in Revelation 6. So that's what we're coming to. It's coming. It's been predestined. It's been predetermined. It's coming and there's nothing you can do to stop it. All right. Now, what our mission is when the, all this stuff goes down, your mission and my mission according to Christ, is to warn others and teach others. Now, there's a passage in Daniel chapter 12 that says, those that lead many to righteousness, to what is right, will shine as the stars in the heaven forever and ever. Now, I would suggest that you and I want to be in that number. So there's a time when people don't listen to us now, right? Because everybody has everything they want, at least for the most of society. But when everything's taken away and they're suffering and there's big calamities and they're desperate, some good-hearted people are gonna be looking for answers. And guess what? They're going to be looking for answers from you and me. They're going to want spiritual insight because they haven't studied their Bibles and they haven't relied on the Lord to teach them what the truth is, what's coming. This is your time to shine. It's your time to be a light in the darkness a candle in the wind. Whoever comes and listens to you is going to be blessed because you're going to know the scriptures and you're going to be able to help other people. And I would suggest to you also, that's another reason we're here. At this time, at this time of trouble, the great tribulation that's fixing to start, is to help other people spiritually and give them guidance as to truth and knowledge and understanding. But not only that, also to help other people physically. You know, there's an old, uh, there's an old redneck proverb that says, you know, the way to a man's heart is his stomach. Well, that's true for most people. If you got families that are trying to feed their kids or whatever, and you have the what, the means to help them and give them a hot meal and help them survive or give them a drink of water. You know, Christ said, whoever gives one of these little ones that trust in me a cup of cold water only in my name, he shall not lose his reward. You need to take these scriptures to heart. Please read the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and all the scriptures, but Christ's words about the tribulation and the time of trouble and persecution is especially relevant to us now. It is your time to shine. You were born for this. You were born for this time of trouble. You're here for a reason. It's not to save your own skin. 
It's not for you to survive no matter what. Because that's what all the animals, all the uh, evil people are going to be trying to do is save their own skin. It's for you to help others, primarily spiritually, but also physically. Help others. The golden rule, right? Do unto others as you would like them to do to you. So simple. And Christ promised, if you help one of the least of these little ones, you will by no means lose your reward. Be encouraged. You're here for a reason, folks. You are here alive at this point in time for this time of trouble. Yes, we're going to suffer. Yes, we're going to be persecuted. Yes, we're going to be killed. But Christ said, be faithful unto death and I will give you the crown of life. Go to Revelation chapter 2 and 3 and read those promises because they are promises for you and I that are living in these troubled times. And may Yahweh richly bless you. May he keep you strong and confident and faithful unto death. May he bless all of you.